I can still remember the first time I was forced to don a mask before going outside. I was six then, a naive child who couldn't understand the world beyond my own two eyes nor the situation all of us were bound by. I remember being confused when my mother handed me a strange shaped cloth. It was pink, with little flowers plastered all over it. I asked her what it was, and she replied with, A mask, to cover your face. Out of curiosity, I asked why I needed one, to which she replied with, It's going to keep you safe from the monsters attacking our country. It satisfied my young mind enough to keep me quiet. I never asked her about it again. Though looking back now, I wish I had. I wish I had fought with her, been a difficult child. I wish I had picked her brain and forced her to tell me everything she knew. But I didn't. She left me ignorant and complacent, following the directions of others without a second thought. Stay six feet apart, wash your hands, wear your mask. You don't want to get sick, do you? Being sick is far better than being blind. It's been ten years since then, and even now with the cure of vaccines and medicine, we're forced to go about our lives under the restrictions placed upon us. Why do we have to follow these protocols? We're safe now, aren't we? It's been years since the virus was a problem. What more do they want from us? Why do we have to cover our faces? Why do we have to stay away from each other? Why do we have to wash our hands over and over and over again? Why? Someone please, just tell me, why? Chara, get up, you're going to be late. Coming. I had that dream again. The same dream I've been having for a while now. Is it because I'm nervous or because I'm excited? I couldn't say. Make sure you put on your mask. You almost forgot it yesterday. I will not have my daughter be arrested. I know, mother. For 10 years now, the world has been running based on the pandemic's rules. It's hard to remember a time when I wasn't wearing a mask. It's on my face constantly, both inside and outside my home. The only time I can escape its grasp is when I'm in my room. Even then, my parents will scold me for not having it on. It's been so long since I've seen someone's face. A real face. I've forgotten entirely what it's supposed to look like. I can see my own face just fine, but that isn't enough. Day by day I find my mind wandering off, dreaming of the human face. What do eyes look like? Are they narrow with small pupils and a mute color? What does the nose look like? Does it curve without interruption, button-shaped when it reaches the bottom? What do lips look like? Are they stretched out and thin? Or perhaps they're small and plump? I just don't know. I'll be heading out now. Have a good day, sweetheart. I would be more than happy to see someone, anyone's face. But there's one person that comes to mind. Did you watch the soccer game yesterday? You know I don't watch sports. I only like seeing you play. Huh, <laughs> you're no fun. Sorry. Hey, are you okay? You seem tired today. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I know you better than that, Chara. Don't try lying. You know I hate when you do. I know, I know. I'll tell you what's wrong later, promise. Fine, but I'm gonna hold you to that. Are you gonna watch me during practice? I know you always skip your fourth period, so you may as well watch me. Normally I would, but I can't today, sorry. The school is starting to get upset with me for skipping so many classes. Dang it. Oh, your education is more important. Just be sure to come to my game this weekend. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Okay, that's the bell. See you later, Chara. See ya. Sorry, Ray. 
I hate lying to you, but I have to do this. Am I nervous or excited? I don't know. Today is going to change everything in my day-to-day -day life and my relationship with Ray. Am I willing to risk everything on this? I already know the answer. I've been thinking about this for a while, planning, studying, worrying. Today, my dream is finally going to become a reality. Today, I'm going to see Ray's face. It's messed up, I know. I shouldn't betray her trust like that. Aside from it being illegal, I know it'll hurt her deeply. I don't ever want to be the reason she's sad. But I'm tired of living like this. I'm tired of not being able to see people, really see people. I've reached my breaking point. I have nothing to lose by doing this. Except Ray, of course. My plan is simple, really. Every Wednesday, Ray has soccer practice during fourth period. I usually skip so I can watch her, but this time I won't be watching her. I'm going to be hiding and wait. The school has special booths where kids can enter and take off their mask for a short period of time. After she showers, Ray always goes to these booths in order to do her homework and take off her mask. I'm going to sneak in and open the booth, allowing me to see her face. The only problem with this plan is... Security guard. The booths are guarded by a police officer. I'm going to distract them with a loud noise away from the booths, but there's no guarantee it will work. I just have to hope. Hope this plan works, and hope that Ray won't hate me when this is all over. Alright everyone, flip to page 122 in your textbooks and answer the questions there. At least I have a free period now. It's fourth period. I'm not sure the teacher will let me leave, but... Sir, may I please use the bathroom? Fine. Be back in five minutes. That was easier than expected. It's been an hour and a half. I haven't heard anyone come in yet, but... Ray usually heads over here at this time. Is she not coming? Okay, girls. I'll see you after school. That's her! Now's my chance. It's now or never. What am I doing? This isn't right. Ray's gonna hate me, and for what? Just because I wanted to see her face? No. I don't want to see her face. I need to see her face. This is all I have in life, all I've ever wanted. I'm not going to throw that away, not after all this planning. Freeze, you criminal! Huh? Ow, let go of me! You really thought you could get away with trying to peek on some poor girl, huh? You make me sick. People like you are the scum of the earth. How, how did you know I was here? Do you think I'm an idiot? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that you were going to skip. But I think you'd be the type of person to do this. I expected better out of you, Miss Kara. Now hold on a minute. This isn't what it looks like. You've got the wrong idea, I swear. What's going on out there? Hey. Hey, Chara. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just, um, visiting you. <laughs> yeah. Why is the teacher and the school guard here? Tara, what did you do? I didn't do anything, I swear I- You're coming with me! No, no, let me go, let me go now! Hey, where are you taking her? This wasn't supposed to happen. No, 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 this wasn't how this was supposed to play out. Next thing I knew, I had been thrown into a jail cell like an animal. The guards spoke to me with disgusted tones in their voices. I didn't need to see their faces to know that they were glaring at me. I wasn't in that cell for very long. It had been about an hour before my parents arrived to bail me out, apologizing profusely to the officers and promising to discipline me when I got home. Since I hadn't committed any offenses before, they left me off the hook with a warning and sent me on my way. I don't think my parents have ever been this angry with me before. They screamed and hollered at me the whole car ride home, but... I couldn't focus on that. 
All I could think about was Ray and how she must think of me now. No doubt the teacher told her what happened. No doubt she's completely disgusted in my actions, just as everyone else is. I couldn't blame her if she was. And I couldn't blame her if she never wanted to see me again. Despite this, I still wanted to see her one last time. To apologize. For everything I had done. Hey, we need to talk. I know it's a lot to ask, but please, meet me at the park in ten minutes. It's important. She never responds with K. Hey, Ray. Hey. You... You know what I did today, don't you? Yeah, Chara, I do. So... You know why I'm here, then? I don't know, do I? I... I'm... I'm so sorry, Ray. I'm so, so sorry. I was being stupid and I didn't even consider your feelings. I knew you were gonna hate me and I took that risk anyways. But I don't want you to hate me. I threw away your trust in our friendship all because I wanted to see your face. All because I was being selfish and didn't think about how it might affect you. All throughout our friendship, you've been nothing but kind to me. Nothing but a wonderful person who made me laugh and made my hardest days bearable. I repay you by breaking the law. I, I just... I'm sorry. I hate this feeling. This tight feeling in my chest. I knew this was wrong. Deep down, I knew it was wrong, and yet... I'm not mad at you for that. I'm mad at you because you didn't trust me enough to not get upset with you. Huh? We've been friends for how long now? Seven? Maybe eight years? Why didn't you trust me enough to tell me you felt this way? I... I was... You were afraid. That's why I'm mad. Because in all my years of knowing you, you've never once been afraid to speak your mind. Yet suddenly you get cold feet and decide to sneak behind my back instead of just telling me the truth. Ray, I... No, Chara. I want you to be honest with me. Why do you want to see my face so badly? I don't... I don't remember what people are supposed to look like. I haven't for a long time now. Every day when I go out, all I see is a blank face covered by a mask. It's scary. Terrifying, even. Why don't you just go on some legal website? Because I don't want to see the face of just anyone. I want to see the face of someone I care about, someone I love. I wanted to see your face, Ray. That's all I've ever wanted to do. It's, it's stupid, I know. I'm so sorry. Chara, all you have to do is ask. We're friends, right? Ray? And suddenly, my world wasn't so dark anymore. I had never experienced such beauty before this moment. It took my breath away and left me speechless. This girl, who I am just betrayed and lied to, willingly broke the law for me without hesitation. What could be more beautiful than that? Ray, you know you're breaking the law, right? <laughs> I know that, dummy. But I couldn't care less. This clearly means a lot to you, and if you're willing to break the law for it, so am I. Just don't get used to it, okay? R right. Oh, and another thing. I expect to see your face eventually, too. I'll see you around. Be honest with me next time, okay? Yeah. Okay. I guess my plan worked. Huh. Hey guys, here, the creator of this little short film. I hope you enjoyed it, and I just wanted to take a moment to thank everybody who helped me, including the voice actors, the person who helped me with backgrounds, and all of the programs that I used to make this whole thing possible. 
you guys really helped me out, and this would not have been made without you. This wouldn't exist, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So, yeah, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed.